Hello, today I'm going to show you how to cut shapes and paths using the eraser tool. Our first example is a rectangle with a fill and a stroke. You can use the eraser tool on paths, compound paths, paths inside live paint groups and creeping paths. The leftover results are line segments or compound paths. To use the eraser tool, first make sure your object is selected. The eraser tool works based on selection. When you have an object selected, it will erase only that object. Now select the eraser tool or press the Shift and E keys on your keyboard. Then click away from the object, hold and draw a freehand line. You can see that the eraser erased away part of our object and at the same time divided it into two separate objects and applied the same stroke to them. You can erase just a part of your object. Click and drag your mouse halfway through. Or just click inside to make a hole for example. Let's undo it. Now I will show you how you can make straight or diagonal eraser lines. First make sure your object is selected. Now press and hold the shift key, then click away from the object and drag your mouse across. Now let's make a vertical line. Press and hold the shift key, click on top and drag your mouse down. Let's undo it. Now let's make diagonal lines. Press and hold the shift key, click on this corner and drag your mouse across. And again, click and drag. And we've got four different shapes. Now if you like, you can select one of them and change its color or a stroke. Let's undo it. If you would like to customize your eraser, double click on the eraser tool to open the dialog box. You can change the roundness, the size and the angle. Let's reset it. You can quickly change the size of the eraser by pressing the left or the right bracket key on your keyboard. Let's set it to about this size and we will erase some of the parts to make a shirt. Click somewhere in the middle to cut the top part. Now Make sure your ruler is showing. If it's not, press the Ctrl and R buttons on your keyboard. Then click on the ruler, hold and drag it down to add a guideline. Next, double click on the eraser tool to open the dialog box and let's make some changes. Now click on this intersection to erase the right side. Double click on the eraser tool again and change the angle to 80. Click on this intersection and erase the left side. Now let's bring down one more guideline and place it down below. Now open the eraser dialog box and click reset to get a round shape eraser. Let's increase the size to 32 and add a few holes. Just be creative. Our next example is a circle with a fill and a stroke. Let's say I want to make a very precise cut and erase one quarter from this circle. If I use the eraser tool and try to erase it the regular way, I will end up with this. And this is not what I want. Let's undo it. To do this right, press and hold the ALT key, position your mouse somewhere here and then click, hold and drag to draw a rectangle. Make sure that the rectangle will touch the top, left and center anchor points. And let it go. Our next example is a polygon without a stroke. Double click on the eraser tool and let's change the angle and the roundness. 
Now the eraser will behave like a calligraphic brush, with the difference that the area the eraser will touch will be gone. Let's move on to the next example. This time we have a simple brush stroke with round ends. To cut through a path like this one, make sure your path is selected and then select the eraser tool. Before we do anything, let's reset the paramets. To make a cut, just click, hold and drag your mouse down. When a brush stroke object is erased, it is broken into separate paths. The brush stroke is then reapplied to each path, which can drastically change its appearance. To visualize this better, let me change this brush stroke to something like this arrow, for example. Let's say I want to erase a section of this arrow. When I click and drag to erase it, the stroke will be reapplied and I will end up with two arrows. And that's not what I want. Let's undo it. To erase a brush stroke object and not have its appearance change, first go to Object and then select Expand Appearance. Now press the Shift and E keys to switch to the Eraser tool. Then, holding down the Shift key, click and drag to make a straight cut. And this is the effect I was looking for. Our next example is a compound shape. I would like to erase the top part of this shape to get something like this. If I select the object and use the eraser tool to erase the top part, the stroke will be reapplied and the dark pink lines will change their appearance due to re-rendering of attributes applied to the object. Let's go back one step. To do this right, first go to Object and select Expand Appearance. Switch to the Eraser tool and let's erase it again. Now the pink lines look good, however the stroke was reapplied. To get rid of it, first click away from the object and now select it again, then go to Object and choose Expand. Click OK and let's do it again. Now click OK to this box and here is our final image. And finally I will show you how to erase text. If you select the eraser tool and try to erase it as it is, Illustrator won't let you do it. To make it possible, go to Object and select Expand. Click OK and now your text is converted into a vector object and you can erase it as you would with any other object. To do that, make sure your object is selected now, holding down the ALT key, click and drag across to make a long and narrow rectangle. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.